Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm in Heidelberg, Germany. And here hidden on the plot, on the neighbor's plot, which he has taken care of for the last 20 years. It used to be a vineyard, as you can see by the by the last remaining poles. Well, here on his plot, there is still surviving one of those in famous, mysterious, forbidden grapevines of the Americans or Americana Rebe. Here it is. I'm not sure what it is. I'm. It seems that there is not much literature on those uh, grapevines of the Americans because they are illegal. They have been illegal since the times of the Nazis and unfortunately the European Union also banned them. Underside it's not too whitish. That's the shape of the leaves. Well, by the way, here is also old man's beard, so don't confuse both. And those are the grapes. However, those are a little bit too high, even for me. Uh, let's see, here are some and they seem to be ripe. Well, everybody, all the old folks here in Heidelberg, they have a couple of those grape vines. Well, it's illegal to plant them, it. it's illegal to sell the wine, but they like them. <coughs> they like the taste and they also like the fact that <coughs> you don't need to spray them with pesticides and you don't need to basically take care of the grape vines. And they're all making wine from them, but they are not calling them any specific names. They just call them the White American, the Pink American and the Red American. Or alternatively, the White American, the Red American and the Blue American. Well, I would say that this is a purple American, but if I had to guess, I would say, yeah, maybe it's the, maybe it's one of the red ones or one of the blue ones. Oh, let me sit down because I've done a lot of work today and I'm quite tired. Yeah, so this purple American, there is not, no such name, official or unofficial, but I guess it's what most people would call the red American. Let's try it. Mmm, amazing. This is maybe the craziest tasting grapes I've ever tried. How shall I describe them? Incredibly sweet. Mmm. I don't know, maybe there's a tiny trace of sourness. And if you chew the peel, you get a hotness like in chili or in pepper. But the... Um, main taste the sweetness and mm, together with the sweetness there is a crazy flavor this stuff is as sweet as candy or maybe even sweeter than candy and the flavor also reminds me of candy it's like how shall i describe it like those chewing gums we had sometimes um, in my childhood i grew up in a socialist country where the taste of the chewing gums was quite boring but sometimes we would get some from Greece or Turkey or Western Europe mm. and this is the same taste explosion it has something of strawberry it has something of other fruits but basically it's an incredibly strong flavor mm. wonderful Incredibly strong sweetness and incredibly strong flavor. If somebody could breathe out this hotness that really... It tingles your tongue like, well... Figs do that to me too. When I eat a lot of figs, my tongue feels like it's full of spines. And those grapevines of the Americans, they do the same. Mm. <laughs> but amazing sweetness and amazing flavor. I don't mind the little peppery, spiny taste on my tongue. I don't, well, as I said, nobody has official names for them. They just call them Americana Reben or Grapevines of the Americans and just add the color. But they're quite popular for wine around here. Hmm. If you can tell me what species or what variety this is, I would be very happy. But even if you don't tell me, I'm happy to just munch away on those incredible grapes. 
So folks, this was one of another one of the Americana Reben or grape wines of the Americans. Either the red or the blue variety or some mix. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful city of Heidelberg here in the background. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.